hello to all my friends out there and so I just wanted to mention something uh, the comments are really good and someone commented well how is it a stockpile if you're eating it all the time how are you stockpiling if you're eating it all the time okay uh, there is five five days left of the month and so this is a food I have stockpiled when I moved here I donated my stockpile because it's heavy um, and so uh, this is what I have left I have some soup some bread some sugar some marshmallows and some uh, popcorn and some breadcrumbs and some crackers okay I can look at a glance and see what I have pancake mix uh, I have some pudding and this is some soup no that's some gravy but there's some soup down there so okay I can see I need more uh -huh. soup and this is the meat I bought eight meat so I have about uh, I have at least eight left and then you know I bought these for an emergency you know these cans of spray and then I bought these uh, spaghetti taco seasoning like that okay and here I have some oatmeal and some salsa and some potatoes and a pasta okay here I have a big bag of tea uh, this is enough tea for a while the tea is a mess to tell you the truth okay and in here you know I have some lemon juice uh, some beans uh, I have beans for next month pretty much I need vegetables and fruit I have some uh, baking soda baking powder and I have some spices so okay he is making a mess here. So, uh, with five days left in the month, and my freezer is uh, packed full of meat still, uh, probably not going to start. Okay, so today I was at Albertsons, and I think this is how I stockpile so easy. These vegetables at Albertsons were 49 cents a bag, and so I figured I needed about uh, four bags for the month. And then, you know, you guys have seen this. This has been in the stockpile for a while. Okay, tonight's the night. And then, you know, I have these uh, smoked sausage so I'll concoct some kind of uh, dinner. Okay, for the next five days, what I want to do is I want to eat the food I have. And then before the end of the month, I look at the food I have and figure out what I need to buy. If I buy a little bit too much food, I don't care because I'm buying this food cheap. Like uh, my meat, I moved the meat I already have to the right and I put all the new meat on the left. And, you know, I try pretty much to eat the, the meat on the uh, right. I move, I move the old meat to the right and the new meat to the left. So I try to eat. Uh, the meat I already had first so um, I figured about four four bags frozen fruit four bags uh, frozen vegetables and about eight cans of vegetables for the month and that seemed to have worked out pretty good this month so that is uh, I think the smartest thing you can do uh, first of all you're gonna eat your st you're you're having a stockpile or a food storage one of the basic good reasons is to save money all the time and not to run out of food but you don't want your stockpile food sitting around uh, collecting dust so when I buy new stuff I move the old stuff to one side and I put the new stuff in the other side so you know uh, my food isn't sitting around and if it gets out of control then I donate the food and um, I've had to do that quite a few times but you know like when you figure 49 cents you know uh, you're probably not going to run out of food buying your food this way that's the the other thing and um, I've been doing the food once a month and uh, you know buying the food for the whole month and you know I still don't have the hang of it but just buying the meat uh, 30 pounds for a dollar a pound really saved money last 
um, month and I'll get 10 pounds of potatoes, 10 pounds sweet potatoes, and 2 pounds rice. So, okay, five days until the end of the month and I will be eating the food in my stockpile. I won't be spending any money except on jewelry. Ha ha ha. Okay, God bless you all.